God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who disperse the darkness of this world by the coming of your light. Look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. We can be sure that we know Jesus only by keeping his commandments. Anyone who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments is a liar, refusing to admit the truth. But when anyone does obey what he has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. We can be sure that we are in God only when the one who claims to be living in him is living the same kind of life as Christ lived. My dear people, this is not a new commandment that I am writing to you, but an old commandment that you were given from the beginning, the original commandment which was the message brought to you. Yet in another way, what I am writing to you and what is being carried out in your, in your lives as it was in his is a new commandment because the night is over and the real light is already shining. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates his brother is still in the dark. But anyone who loves his brother is living in the light and need not be afraid of stumbling. Unlike the man who hates his brother and is in the darkness, not knowing where he is going because it is too dark to see. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. It was the Lord who made the heavens, his uh, majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Alleluia, alleluia. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. To all who received him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the day came for them to be purified as laid down by the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, observing what stands written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male must be consecrated to the Lord and also to offer in sacrifice in accordance with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now in Jerusalem there was a man called Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. He looked forward to Israel's comforting and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple. And when the parents brought in child Jesus to do for him what the law required, he took him into his arms and blessed God, and he said, Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace, just as you promised, because my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared for all the nations to see, a light to enlighten the pagans and the glory of your people Israel. As the child's father and mother stood there wondering at the things that were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, You see this child, he is destined for the fall and for the rising of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is rejected, and a sword will pierce your own soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of the divine, may we come to share in the divine with Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humility. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may you are our sacrifice in this sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this O-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebrations we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord of God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, in and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, so we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, 
from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
through the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Before leaving this sanctuary, let us offer our intentions to Our Lady, saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.